Hey there, y'all. Welcome back to my channel, A Day with Peaches. And today, y'all, I got us a little treat. We're going to eat us some peach cobbler today, baby. But that is air fried peach cobbler. See, here in Vegas, it's 102 hot degrees, okay? We don't need that oven on and we don't need that stove on. But here at Peaches House, we still going to have all our shenanigans, honey, but without all of that heat. So, y'all meet me over here and let's see how this comes out. Okay, y'all, here's our ingredients. We got cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla abstract. I got two small cans of peaches. We got some sugar and some brown sugar. And I also got these little pans from the dollar store. Um, these aluminum pans, they're good if um, they're perfect size, like for the air fryer. So let's go ahead and get our, I'm gonna go ahead and get our peaches in there. We gonna have um, I have a half a cup of brown sugar, and then I have a whole cup of white sugar. I have a tablespoon of cinnamon and nutmeg, and then I'm gonna use a tablespoon of vanilla abstract. Cut up a couple of pieces of butter, and we'll bring that to a boil. Now I want to get all these sugars, the brown sugar and the regular sugar, get it all mixed up in there real good so it won't be any clumps or anything like that. Get that to boiling. This is just a regular pie crust, y'all, you know, that you get out of the local grocery store. I just uh, pulled it apart and, you know, smashed it down in the pan. Of course, we got some pieces that broke up, but you guys can use that to fill in some holes or either for the top. Just a regular. I got the deep dish because I just felt like it would give me more crust. So, we're going to go ahead and get that into the air fryer because I do want the bottom crust to get kind of golden brown before I put the filling in. So I'll go ahead and stick that in the air fryer. Now that's a seven quart. I have a seven quart air fryer so you can see how that pan fits in there. Now let's see. We'll put it on 350. And I only need it for a couple of minutes. So, okay, yeah, 14 minutes. We'll just let it go for about three, four minutes and we'll come back and check. Now that our filling, our peaches and everything is boiling real good. Ooh, you guys, that smells so good. Ooh, that cinnamon smells good. We can go ahead and check on our crust so we can get that filling in. Okay, now it's been four minutes. Let's check on this. Ooh, ooh, look at there, y'all. Now that is nice and golden and, mmm. I probably even could have took it out a little sooner. No? It feels nice. Let's get this filling in, y'all, so we can be eating peach cobbler soon. Okay. Oh, look at that. That filling got thick on us. Nice little thickness to it. Oh, yeah. Now, y'all know that crust I had earlier, I went on and smashed that up and rolled that in little strips for the top. So we'll put some butter in this. And then we'll go ahead and put our um, top on it. That smells and looks awesome already. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, got my butter in there. Crest looking all nice and pretty. Got my little rolled up pieces of dough on the side. And we're going to go ahead and just lay that on across the top. Now, you guys can use, I mean, you don't have to lay the dough on the top like this in little strips. I just do it like this. But if you got, like, the rolled um, crust on a roll, you can just roll the top uh, across or any kind of way that you like. I just like putting my um, crust across the top in strips like this. I guess uh, more or less for the looks. As I'm laying these strips down, because I rolled the dough, I'm actually like smashing it so that it can actually be kind of flat so that it'll cook more flat than round I think one more across this side is be fine 
And even if some of the crust break, you can just squeeze it back together or mush it back together, however you like to say. Because once it cooks again in the crust, it is, it'll grow back together anyway. So we'll go ahead and get this all crust up and laid across the top. I think it's going to come out really nice, y'all. I'm pretty, pretty confident that this is going to be a success. Okay, get this last little piece right here. Now I'm going to take some um, butter in a can or Pam or whatever it is that you have. Put a couple of marks on here for design. Then I'm going to spray the top with this Pam. And then sprinkle a little cinnamon on the top. Also, again, once the crust uh, browns, it'll look real nice. Let's go ahead and get this back in. So let's go ahead and get this back in the air fryer. Now again, I'm just really trying to cook the top of the crust uh, since I've already cooked the bottom. The filling has already been cooked. So there's nothing um, at this point. No, I'm going to go ahead and turn that back down to 350. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I'm going to put it on 15 minutes, but in 5 minutes I'm going to check Okay, you guys, it's been five minutes. Let's see how we done. Oh, yes. Baby, we got us a peach cobbler, honey. Mmm. You guys, that's a peach cobbler. It smells like a peach cobbler. It looks like a peach cobbler. That's a peach cobbler, y'all. Air fried peach cobbler. Let me go on and get this up out of here. Give me some something to get there because I know it's hot. The juice is hot. Mm -mm. Come on now. Yeah, I'm not going to play with that. Let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, see, it's trying to get me to mess up my peach cobbler, and I'm not doing it. Hold on, you guys. My peach cobbler, too pretty to be playing. Let me get this up out of here, y'all. There you have it, hun. An air-fried peach cobbler. Looks good. Smells good. Golden brown. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you guys so much for having another day with peaches. Enjoy. Thank you guys so much for your support. And don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Toodles!